There was a friendly but naive king who wed a very nasty queen. The king was loved, but the queen was feared. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Nemesis, and today we're going to talk about more casting. Uh, we have one particular actress who has come in, I think she does stunts and, and, and kind of ballet and dance work and things like that. It seems like her background could be in some of that. Um, she is, uh, her name is Marina, and her Instagram link I'm going to put down below so you can check her out. She posted this video, like, I want to say like three weeks ago now on her Instagram, where she said, another movie and another head cast. So apparently she's done body casting before in movies uh, for different characters or you know uh, creatures or whatever um that happens a lot sometimes you get your face made if it's like an action movie and your head gets blown off you might get your face made and then they make a replica of it so that way when they show a shot of it getting hit with a bullet uh, or a fake bullet or they send off you know, squibs on its inside of it or whatever they do um it'll it kind of looks like you kind of resembles you so that happens a lot in movies so uh, marina here it seems like she has done this before and uh, this time, though, she did it with some very interesting hashtags, uh, which I don't know if she was supposed to give this away or maybe the movie just said, eh, do it. Who cares? Like, uh, it'll get people excited. I hope that's the case because I'm so excited to talk about this. Uh, Lisa Trevor. So she has hashtags headcast, Resident Evil, Resident Evil reboot, uh, Resident Evil movie. So it's clear what she's working on. She made it very clear in her hashtags. Uh, Resident Evil remake. Um, um, her name, Marina Maz uh, Mazipa. And, uh, and then also creature performer, hashtag Lisa Trevor. Uh, hashtag Lisa Trevor Resident Evil. Uh, so yeah, let's get those trending, man. Uh, Lisa Trevor is a character we talked about in uh, Resident Evil uh, early on in the Nemesis episode. So if you go back to like the first five episodes, we do a history video on some of the lore of Resident Evil. And I'll probably make a couple more of those coming up. Uh, not too many more, but just a couple things that I find fascinating about the universe. We'll make a couple more videos on. But we did a whole video on the Trevor family. And, and the Trevor family is a, is a guy um, who was an architect, uh, he, you know, the head of the Trevor family. Um, he is an architect from England. And uh, he comes over, or I think, I don't know if they officially say where he's from, uh, where George Trevor's from, but he's working on a lot of stuff. He worked in England on some stuff for Oswald E. Spencer, and he's a very renowned uh, architect. He's very well known in this Resident Evil universe. So Oswald E. Spencer, who is this creepy old guy who runs one of the one of the three creators of the Umbrella Corporation. So he's kind of the guy in charge. He's like the main guy. And then he got funding from a family called the Ashford family. And then he also had James Marcus, who was like his head researcher, who helped him. And they were together, hopefully, after discovering this flower in Africa that could grow without sunlight. It grew underground in a cave. They, like these flowers were growing. And from there, they were able to extract uh, what they call the progenitor virus. And the progenitor virus then evolved into the T-virus. But before it evolved... It was being injected into people as test subjects, as guinea pigs. And so Oswald e. Spencer had this amazing mansion designed by George Trevor with traps and all these things. And then I think Oswald e. Spencer went and added some stuff to the house, invited George Trevor over with his family, his wife and his daughter, Lisa. He invites them over to dinner so that, and he says, hey, stay for the weekend at the house that you built. And he's like, I'll be there and, you know, I'll, I'll accompany you. So Oswald never showed up. Uh, instead, he uh, when they got there, he was like, all right, like he, I prepared a meal for you guys. I'm running late. I'll be there as soon as I can. Obviously, he wasn't running late. He was observing them because he, they became his some of his first test subjects. And so uh, George Trevor, his wife, and his daughter Lisa, uh, I think his wife and Lisa were both injected with versions of the progenitor virus. And then George uh, was trapped in the house with all the traps that he helped design but that were modified, so he didn't, knew, he didn't know some of the solutions. He gets trapped in a house, and he's trying to find his family um, and get to them. It's almost like a Saw movie where he's like he's trying to get to his family and save them, but there's all these traps in his way. And, uh, and then he ends up dying of starvation and everything in the house because he can never get out of some of the rooms to, go find, to get to his family and save them. So what happens is the mom gets injected. She dies, but Lisa lives. <laughs> lives. Uh, Lisa becomes a monster uh, and she transforms into Lisa Trevor, who's this like hunched over creature with her arms chained together. And through her, a lot of research for the T virus came out of. So James Marcus was, uh, you know, I think did some of the leech work using Lisa. But then uh, Wesker and Birkin 
uh, used Lisa when they were young men before, because in 1998, I think they're both in their 40s. Uh, but they, when they were in their 20s working for Umbrella, uh, so this would have been like in the late 70s, they, they actually worked with Lisa Trevor as a test subject and through her were able to figure out things uh, and evolve the T-virus. And then eventually they implanted a parasite into her that uh, the European branch of Umbrella found and uh, I know this is a lot of lore stuff, right? <laughs> I do a video on it. It's much more clear. I'm just kind of rambling right now. Um, but I'm just saying how much I love Lisa Trevor because the story is so cool. So, so the, the parasite gets put into her and then she doesn't get taken over by the parasite. She actually like um, kind of has a symbiotic relationship with it almost where it pr helps produce a new chemical in her. And they extract that and that eventually leads to the creation of the G virus, which is what... Um, uh, you know, uh, Birkin's working on. That's his big thing. So to have Lisa Trevor in a story with Wesker and Birkin makes a ton of sense. And I can't wait to see how they do it. And the fact that they're going to have her as the monster is really great. I like this character so much that I actually wrote a spec script for a Resident Evil movie called Domicile. And Domicile was literally, uh, you did if you weren't a fan of Resident Evil, you didn't even know it was a Resident Evil movie until the last 10 minutes of the movie. Um, because it was, it was a, a George, it was about George Trevor and his family being invited over, and the whole movie is about him trapped in the mansion and uh, seeing the, the infected shark and what they're doing with that, seeing the creation of the first hunter. Um, and then there's a couple zombies and a zombie dog in it too. And then Lisa Trevor is like a big monster in the end, and then the prototype tyrant. So I actually kind of did some of the Resident Evil 1 video game story, but just with with uh, through the eyes of George Trevor in the late 70s. And that was a script I wrote, So and I did it because I liked the Trevor family story so much. So seeing Lisa Trevor in this, uh, played by Marina, who is very talented, it seems like she made a video out there where she shows off some of her moves, where she's like jumping around and like slashing. So it's like, it looks like her hands are tied together, which is a Lisa Trevor thing. And it shows her jump off a wall and slam her hands down. That was the thing is like, I know Res Evil has some action in it. It's not like a fully action-based uh, video game franchise, but there is action in it. Although in the later games, like four, five, and six, definitely go very action because they were more inspired by the movies and the su success of the movies. But Res Evil's one, two, and three, and Co Veronica, and uh, maybe Co Veronica a little bit more action. And then seven, and looks like eight. They have action in them, but they're definitely second to the horror. And so, uh, but Lisa does have moves in the video game where she does move suddenly. Like she'll, she'll move slow at first and kind of, uh, and kind of drag her hands. And then uh, when she gets close, she's like, Rah! and she's like slashing around and stuff. And she does jump and leap in the video game too. So her seeing her Marina do these moves, like, I saw someone get upset like, oh no, it's too much action. She's going to move around and they're going to have to do Kung Fu to beat her and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, hopefully they don't do Kung Fu to beat her. Hopefully they just try to shoot her like they did in the games or they try to outthink her and open the grave of her mother and that distracted her and they were able to you know, get around her that way. Um, so that's how one of the ways you can beat her in the game. Jill, you're alive. Yeah, I am. So I thanks to you, dick face. Whoa! I can't even believe he drew the gun on her. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Yeah, we're playing on hard mode. I kind of need him and his bullets to, like, be a distraction for her. See, she has the eye growing on her back. That's kind of like... That's why the G-Virus creatures do that. Is because, you know, the G-Virus kind of, in a way, comes from her. Um, and so all those things on her face, she, she, um, she's, she's been ripping off the flesh. Anytime they send like a female, um, like a, you know, like a guard or someone to watch her, uh, she, you know, she rips their face off. Shit. Ooh, woo. Shit. Come on, push it. Yeah, this is dumb.
She just took her mom's face and her skull. So, uh, so I like that. So maybe that's something they can do in the movie. But either way, her movements didn't bother me. Because like I said, in the game, she does leap and jump around and try to kill you and Barry and Wesker and, and Jill and Chris and stuff. So uh, yeah, so I'm excited. I'm so excited that I'm talking about Lisa Trevor and that she's going to be portrayed in a movie of Resident Evil. This is super exciting for me. And I can't wait to see what the final product is and to see if that tragic backstory is going to be there in any way. If they mention the fact that, um, you know, she's she was like a 15 year old girl or something like that that got injected and she's been alive now for like you know 30 years uh, as this monster 25 years as this monster um it's tragic there's a lot of tragedy to it and she had to watch her her dad die her mom die and uh, and then now she's mutated and she's stuck in the memories of her parents uh, because those are the last things she was holding on to before she got mutated so anyone who doesn't look like her mom and dad um or does you know or isn't their dead bodies you know because she reacts to their dead bodies too um anyone who isn't their mom her mom and dad she lashes out at and so there's a lot of tragedy to this monster and, and i think it's great that we're going to see her on screen. So you guys let me know. What do you think? Are you a fan of Lisa Trevor? Are you a fan of the Trevor family? If you haven't watched my video on the history of them, I'll try to put a link to that down below so you can check that out. And uh, definitely subscribe if you like your con the content here. Um, I got one more episode I'm going to try to film today before I go to work, and I'll try to post these up hopefully next week. It's the first week of December right now. It's like December 3rd. So hopefully next week these will start going up, and I'll try to post like one a day uh, for every day next week. I'll do my best. So, uh, so yeah, let me know your thoughts down below of uh, Marina. Um, her work if you know of her work and uh, what you think of lisa trevor being in this movie i'm excited let me know what you think down below thanks so much for watching the show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you in the future peace